Hey guys, how's it going? AK Moto here. Uh, we've had a 2021 Honda Ridgeline RTLE Black Edition here in uh, Platinum Pearl White for a few months now and uh, thought I'd come in here and make a quick video about uh, my daily routine daily routine uh, for loading up the bikes in the bed. Now today, we're only gonna be taking the 250 and the 110, so that's this bike right here. This is a YZ250F, a full-size dirt bike. And then I have my little 110 kind of behind there in the background. So I'm gonna be loading up these two bikes so you guys can get a quick little idea of the general size of the bed in this truck. Uh, definitely not the world's biggest bed, but it works pretty well for hauling these dirt bikes. Um, I can comfortably fit two big bikes in this bed. Uh, three big bikes would be definitely tight. Uh, that definitely takes some finesse. Um, but two big bikes and maybe like a pit bike wouldn't be too, too hard, I don't think. Um, but here, just looking at the bed, we got tie down points, two on each corner. So the same ones over here are down over there. So yeah, I do like how uh, this truck it does have lots of tie down points. So I use the front uh, four for the bikes and then the back two I use for like the moto gate, which you guys will see here in a few minutes. So uh, yeah, so uh, let me get this ramp out and show you guys what I use for that. Alright guys, so here's the ramp setup we have. Uh, this is by Step Ramp, and uh, this one works pretty well with this truck. Um, bed sits a little higher up. Um, of course, uh, now right here on the driveway, the back of the truck's kind of angled up a little bit, so this looks a little bit steeper than it probably will be for most of you guys. Um, but yeah, this is the ramp that we use for anyone curious. This is a Step Ramp. I know they have two sizes, um, one longer and one slightly shorter one. This is a slightly shorter one here, but it uh, has a little uh, tie down here that you can hook to your hitch, kind of built in, so it doesn't slip away. And then, uh, yeah, so I just load the bike straight in using this ramp, makes it pretty easy. And then uh, I don't want to go too, too far into detail on every single little thing, but I have these pro taper straps. If you're going to haul dirt bikes, I highly recommend getting these much better than pretty much any other strap you'll find on the market for hauling dirt bikes. And then another thing I wanted to show you guys for you Ridgeline owners, or you can really do this with any truck here, but for uh, our truck here, we have this uh, kind of the um, rear seat, under seat storage tray type of thing here. Um, and we use this for our straps. So I have my moto gate right back here, some extra straps down there. So uh, yeah, I just keep all my straps, first aid kit towards the back, but uh, all my straps I keep in here. So that way when I'm going to load my bikes, I don't have to go into the garage looking for the straps. So it just keeps them all here in one central place with the truck, really nice and organized. So uh, yeah, just a little idea for you guys. All right guys, so here I have the 110 in. This is just a pit bike. This resembles like a, a kid's bike here. Yeah, my TTR 110. And uh, yeah, it doesn't take up a lot of space obviously, but for the first bike, what I'll do is I will uh, leave the left strap kind of somewhat tight. Not really tight, but just kind of in place holding the bike up. So it's slightly leaning towards me. And this strap in the middle, the second bike, the second bike's front wheel will actually come in and push the strap like this. Uh, so I leave this strap super, super loose in this step. So when I put the secondary bike in here, it can push the strap forward and uh, then I can adjust all that stuff. Same thing for the strap going underneath this bike's wheel right here. So uh, yeah, let's get the big bike in. Uh, again, YZ250F, full size dirt bike. It's the same size as a 125, 450 pretty much. Uh, 125 is like two inches shorter if that, or two inches like, you know, shorter at the back with the rear tire length, but it's barely any different. So yeah, this is your average big bike. Let's get it in the truck. Now here's something I like to do with the big bike, or at least with the 250 here, is I'll actually use the engine slightly to assist me in loading the bike. You gotta be really, really careful when doing this. Uh, if you're kind of new to loading dirt bikes, I wouldn't recommend doing this. And I only do this because I have a step ramp and I can safely do this. But I like to use the engine throttle and uh, work the clutch to uh, get it up into the truck a little easier. 
if I had to push it up, I could do that just fine. But uh, you know, just working the throttle makes it a little bit easier. But again, if you're not really experienced with loading up a dirt bike, these ramps can be uh, a little tricky. So you wanna, I'd recommend just getting used to loading them up without any engine power at all. So that way, you know, instead of relying on the engine, because then if your engine goes out, you're kind of going to have a hard time loading the bike up. But yeah, uh, here I'm going to load it up. going to use just a very slight amount of engine power. Um, but again, don't even try this if you're not already, you know, very well uh, familiarized, I guess, with the uh, loading process of these dirt bikes. Also, because the back tire is going to be slightly, you know, pushing on the ramp, very, very important. You have a little tie down, tying your ham, your ramp to a hitch hitch receiver or something so it doesn't slide backwards. All right, you guys, so I got the 250 thrown in here and you guys can see uh, this bike sticks out, you know, towards the end of the tailgate. Again, it fits fine. Um, wouldn't really have to worry about it for any big sized bike, but uh, if you were to have to take three bikes and have to kind of move one big bike back a little bit, you really wouldn't have space to do that. Uh, so that's why I say this truck can comfortably uh, haul two full-size dirt bikes. I'm sure three could be done, but it'd be very, very tight. Um, but, you know, I don't even have three big bikes, and I think most people will just take two at the most. So, yeah, uh, there's the way it fits. I have everything strapped down where I'm going to want it. I just run two straps on each side of the handlebar, and that's been enough for me. And then I'll run the moto gate at the back of the truck just to kind of hold things at the back in place. And uh, yeah, no reason to go too crazy tight on these straps. Just want the bike to stay in place just like this. And uh, yeah, here I'm going to get the ramp loaded up. I'm going to load up a gas can and I'm going to maybe bring some toolboxes, some chairs. And I'll show you guys what that looks like here in a minute. All right, guys, we got pretty much everything loaded up that I'll take. Uh, with the exception of some chairs, I actually forgot to go get some, but I'll just throw them in like right here. Uh, so yeah, here's pretty much everything. I bring some tools with, a stand, of course the ramp, all on that side, and then on this side where I have a little bit more space, I have the gas can up front, and then some boots in my gear, right there. All right guys, and there we go, that's pretty much the finished product. This is what I'll go to the track with. You can see, pretty much nothing is stored in the truck. Um, but not much would change. The only thing I'd really throw in the truck if it starts raining is like my gear. But yeah, here's the finished product with uh, two bikes, one big bike, a little pit bike, and a gas can. Or, you know, if you could just imagine two big bikes. I'll try and put a picture or a video clip on the screen of what two big bikes looks like. And uh, that can be done. You know, that's not too hard to do. But here I just put on the moto gate. Basically like a little mesh net, a little tailgate type thing. Connects to our four attachment points here at the end of the bed. And this is just nice to have, kind of keeps anything from falling out if anything does come loose. I have everything like individually tied down and whatnot, but still, this is good to have. Uh, kind of keeps the back of the bikes from bouncing around in the bed. And uh, again, if anything does come loose, you know, this will catch it pretty much. So, yeah, this is a nice little thing to have. And uh, not sponsored by any of these companies, but just thought, you know, some of these products you definitely, you know. I'd recommend checking out if you're new to hauling dirt bikes. But yeah, that is the finished product. Let's get a little side view. And this is YZ250F, full-size dirt bike. So uh, generally the bikes don't get any bigger than this. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Just wanted to come on here, make a quick video about hauling dirt bikes with the Honda Ridgeline. When driving, we don't really notice any difference at all, you know. Uh, bike definitely sticks up higher than some trucks might because the bed's a little bit higher on this truck, but Yeah, it's not an issue Hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down in the comments below and uh, Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video Peace Dude, my gear's mean to me. <laughs> mean, bro.